Welcome everybody to another edition of Atlanta Unplugged and I'm your host Steve Paul and I got with me today a, a very special guest, you know, a legend, you know, uh, um, man, let me just say it, Jace For Real from So For Real. That's right. What's you up, did. What's, what's up, up, what's up, man? What's, what's up, good? Man? <laughs> I'm in here. What's yes, good? yes. Legendary status in the building. What's been happening? What's going on? Man, uh, just living life, man. Making music, making more music. Creating things. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for and real. For thriving, me. surviving. You already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so life's been treating you well? Absolutely. Absolutely. I can't complain. I won't complain. Good, 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 man. So you, you know, you're still with the music and everything. You're still pumping out some uh, new content and everything. Absolutely, you can check it out. I'm on Spotify um, or anywhere social media under Jace. No, Jace for real. Yeah, right. So, so you just uh, o- uh, solo artist now, right? Um, well, being independent, I get to focus on what I want to. So, um, you know. Mm-hmm. So for real, and you know, Jay's for real. So this is what we do. Mm. Okay, okay. So you do your own work, and you still do work with So for Real. Absolutely. Oh man, that's 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 dope. That's mm-hmm. dope. Appreciate. It. So, um, are you working with any other artists, any up and coming artists, or anything like that? Absolutely, absolutely. Got to own team. My team's teammates, which is my bros. So for yeah. real, we got the label, and um, we signed. We're launching uh, the artist that we've signed. Mm-hmm. Why not? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could expect that in the near future. You okay. Know, so okay. Hear about it soon. Okay. Dope. 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 Shout out to Champion League and the whole camp. Yeah. 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 Shout out. Shout out. And you are based here in Atlanta now, right? Yep. Been here for a while. Mm-hmm. Been here for a while. For a while. For a while. Atlanta been treating you good. Yeah. I keep <laughs> it in the cut. I keep it tucked a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah I like yeah. it out here. It grew yeah. on me. Yeah. Been out there for a while. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. That's dope. Mm-hmm. That's dope. That's dope. So, um, wh- wh- how how do you feel about? Because you know, we j- when you was coming in here, you saw another uh, young artist and everything like mm-hmm. that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure that he he's heard of your music. Yeah, he heard your music. Yeah. But being introduced to you, you know what I mean, because right. the uh, the generation gap right. and everything like that how right. does that make you feel like you know when they when they sit there like like oh you know uh um uh, they don't recognize you right off the bat right. but you know um it makes me kind of realize the power of um the brand mm. you know, that's that's pretty much it but um i don't feel no kind of way i'm uh, puts me in a position of um i guess teacher you know i get to enlighten people right you know, you know without the whole um separation of like oh that's yeah you know what i mean yeah i, I could talk to a motherfucker right now <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's cool that's cool man um so what do you think the difference is between then and now when it comes to the r&b music us uh, in the sound uh, in the business Mm-hmm. All, all um, of the above, like from the, I think from the sound, um, from the business. Do you I think, think they have been from, staying uh, intact with the, the the feel of R&B the way it used to be? I think they're trying. You know what I'm saying? I think um, uh, the essence of where we're from will always be in the, the um, um, what do they call them? The, the change in the metamorphosis of the, the music, the whole... Mm-hmm. You know, um, but um, I think we can tap in more to like a few harmonies from where I'm from. You know, yeah, yeah, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. You know, and that's that's kind of what we do. But um, I I like it honestly. Like um, what I think about it, I, I, I like certain things. Can't please everybody. I don't uh, certain things I don't fuck with. But mm-hmm. um, as far as the business, just like the sound is um. Morphing is exactly what the business side of things is doing as well. You know what I'm saying? So, right, right, yeah. right, right. Now, um, we had a young, uh, I, I guess, a rap artist uh, interviewed him earlier, and mm-hmm. he labeled his music uh, R&B rap. R&B rap. Srap. I call it. <laughs> I call it sing rap. Sing rap. Right. Srap. 
<laughs> and I know when when uh, uh, you came in the game, you know, definitely, you know, that that was my generation coming up and everything. That era was when it was bringing that, you know, hip hop to the R and B side and everything. So like definitely, that. so for real was definitely one of those groups that introduced um, the mix of hip hop and R and B. Candy Rain was um, actually. Um, a tribe called Quest mm-hmm. um, sample, not oh, sample, really? but like from that. Um, yeah, boom, yeah, boom. oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Back in the days on the Boulevard of Linden, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so boom, it took yeah, that from yeah. hip hop, yeah, and came up with Candy Rain, and it was, it was jumping. Now, do you see the? Um, Cause it, it was almost like y'all was the conception, concept, you know what I mean? And now the birth mm. of, how do you mm. say it? You know? I think, go ahead. Uh, I would say the realness of it, the, the, like just a more real mm-hmm. with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, more tangible, I guess. You could say, you know how stardom could look like. Oh, I, just, I, might, I don't, might as well not even try. I think that's what you're saying. Anyway, mm. um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, for yeah. real was like the. You know, showed the world that you could do it too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. old were you when you started uh, with So For Real? Uh, f- what, 13, 14? Man, you've been in the game. You you yeah. was in the game, oh, man. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> it don't make me feel so old. Because <laughs> no. I was there with you, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Okay, I was there okay. with you, so you know what I mean? So you were 90s, baby. You were 80s, Yeah, baby. yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Don't don't let me don't yeah. don't put my <laughs> don't numbers out. Back. Don't pull you too far back. Oh right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, so so um, besides being in the hip hop world and in, uh, in, in the R and B world and everything in the music industry and everything, mm-hmm. uh, um, where has it taken you in life? Like, were you, I know you had to be able to travel the world and everything mm-hmm. like that. What have you experienced since since then? Uh, oh, wow. That at for the the places it took you. Uh, you could say we traveled the world, but um, man, when you get a taste, there's no, it's not enough places. You know what I'm saying? So I, really? I definitely, am not done. You know, touching. Mm-hmm. You know, and exploring. You know, so, different. what is your favorite place so far that you've been to? Um, wow, I think, I think Greece was one of the most amazing places I've been. I think uh, Japan was. I remember all of the places I've been, but um, yeah, it's, um, what was it? we went to Dubai. Mm. And I remember yeah. this, there's no trash on the street out there. It's like everything's clean. <laughs> it's just crazy. So why do you mm. keep on coming back to the states, <laughs> man? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, that's a heavy question, you know. Like this, it's a company. We got business to run. So right, right, yeah. right, right, right. So um, um. How's how's the experience feels when you when you do go to places like Japan and every, and everything and they're emulating, you know what you guys do and everything. So how do you how do you feel about that? Do you be like tripping out or you be like, man, that's cool, you know what I mean? Um, it, well, when at first when I first felt that, of course it was kind of I don't know what the word would be like bigger than what I could wrap my head around, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, mm-hmm. Surreal, maybe, I don't know. But like, now, nowadays, um, it kind of just shows me like, the market, mm-hmm. you know? And, um, you know, what I, my job, it shows me what to do. It gives me motivation to, you know, reach out and touch my brothers and sisters, my fans, uh, the world, you know what I'm saying? Right, Period. right, 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 mm-hmm. right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> So, the the content that you are making today in recent times and everything, do you uh, do you stick with the the love subjects or are you? Yeah. Yeah. Do you do you stick with the love subjects or 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 do you um, do you get on the topics of what's happening today? You know what I mean with the uh, Black Lives Matter. Absolutely. Uh, um, you know this presidential race that's crazy and everything and then i want to know your opinion on uh ice cube man and, and oh. what's going on with him so yeah i heard about that um okay so i have the the answer is absolutely absolutely for the positive change and um the growth and 
uh, I want to say uh, politics, I guess humanity, and just to, for us to go from the. Uh, there's a specific word, of course, but I'm not too versed in that lingo because I know it's, to me, I don't. It's all bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But um, you're talking about the politics. Yes, you know, you know yeah, 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 so, I agree. But I'm all for, um, you know, amplifying the the righteousness, the way to do things the right way. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And uh, mm. of course, getting rid of this. Uh, um, what word is that? This this thing this this stronghold this that we live yeah. underneath you know what yeah. I'm saying if I have been living underneath for so long and you see there was a few words that I could have <laughs> used but you know um, I'm glad y'all know what I'm talking about um, yeah. but yeah I'm, uh, I've made songs behind it uh, we have ideas and um, to have you ever experienced only ideas, that? But like have productions you we're putting into play behind that have to do with that which is cool right, right. and all of that you know right, right right dope though have you have you ever experienced that in, um, in your line of work as far as uh, um, uh, racial profiling, discrimination, you know, uh, challenges when it comes to, you know, uh, who we are as a people? Yeah, absolutely. I think more so when I was a kid before the fame and stuff, because, of course, that's a that's a little bit of a filter, mm. you know. Right, but, right. But um, even then, you know, we've experienced the presence of that you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. so yeah it's a serious it's a serious matter that needs to be changed and we are changing you know what I'm right, right, which right. is dope I'm not tripping it's, everything is ha happening how it's supposed to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to me mm -hmm. and you grew up where? Uh, Long Island New York Long Island New York mm -hmm. is it the same today as it was back then? Mm -hmm. no not at all <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> Brooklyn is different place like you know what i mean i have people i grew up going to church in brooklyn and have family in brooklyn and, and that's a whole new world right now you know what i'm saying as far as like yeah you know yeah like, yeah what do they call it gentrification mm-hmm mm-hmm i'm just saying yeah, white man. people everywhere after you bust the corners the hood is right here and then two one corner is like what like this <laughs> is where niggas used to lay down at right here you know what i'm saying right right right, right. Man, uh, those those were the golden days, man. I love man. it. Man. I love being part of that. Man, everybody wants those days back. Right, right, because it was more genuine back then. You know what I mean? I, I guess so. Right, man. right, right. Do you think you think the the contrast of what's happening today has to do with the money, man? Because back then, I feel like it was done more for the love of the culture. Or, or building a new culture because it wasn't like you know it wasn't That's something that was already you know industry established and, yeah you and tapped in was coming up you, you know tapped I mean? in it to me that time frame was just bringing in the whole digital age of what it is is going on right now like you know when in when i grew up 90s yeah what 10 years after the the crack age and crack hit the streets. Yeah. You already know what it is. Like that it was a whole different world with Reagan. <laughs> you know what I mean? Reaganomics, yeah. <laughs> man. Yeah, man. Uh, um, those those times, man, you had you had uh the worst of times that brought out the, the best. The best. You know what I'm saying? Say that. <laughs> the best, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Um so when we was coming in here, you was uh, you mentioned, you know, um, uh, somebody being about crystals and everything. Mm. So you get into the crystal joints, you get you you into the meditations and and, and all Definitely, that. Yeah, I'm absolutely into that. Um, everybody meditates differently, and I think the crystals are dope because uh, it's to me how do, how can I put it? It's like. Um, a physical representation of your chakras you know what I'm saying mm. and you know being balanced is one of the things that um, I think uh, the whole moving in the like um, consciousness of everyone right now is changing you know what I'm saying so that it's, right. it's matching that right, it, right. It, to me that's what that mm. represents you know what I'm saying so that's, that's just dope to me yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. so <clears throat> 
what is your best experience in life? You know what I mean? As far as um, where life has uh, taken you and everything mm. like that. What is the what is that that one point that you felt like okay, this is just this is the ultimate, and you know you could be there right now if you could go right to that to that space and time right now mm. you would what, what would be that well um i think i don't think i really have that i think i've, I've made in myself it comfortable to be uh uncomfortable you understand mm. which means like this is for my kids the most beautiful moments were you know having them and just to like um, be able to just pay attention to them mm-hmm. you know is what mm-hmm. we work for and that's what it is you know mm-hmm. not after but your work takes you away from your kids you know what I'm saying uh, usually yeah. so mm. it's a catch 22 and to be able to um, have the space to, to do both mm-hmm. at the mm-hmm. time is, is, is cool just you know what I mean okay. but yeah Never be comfortable. Just stay working for the kids. Right, you know? right, 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 shit. right, right, right. Children, man, that mm-hmm. that is an ultimate right there. You know. Uh, so, uh, how many children you got? Well, I have four little devils. Yeah, four of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, do they do they do they check you out? Beautiful. Do they know what you do? Do they know what you're about? Do they be like, yo, I need you know? Yeah, what they know what's up. Man. They know what's up. They be messing with me. <laughs> singing my song when they know I don't want to hear that shit. They'll <laughs> <laughs> be like, yo, go sing your song. You didn't you just record some shit? <laughs> nah. I'm just, uh, nah. If I, w- I want them to do what they want to do, and I'm um, just kind of pre- preparation is everything. Be prepared for whatever. So yeah, that's where yeah, I'm at yeah. with it. Like. So who's the, who's the next star? Who, which one out of your children is the one that you see that's going to be the one mm. that, that comes up in, in this genre? They're all. They're all doing their little their thing, man. I can't even say. I think they're all going to do what they want to do. Are they all the singers? Day. Are they rappers? They can sing. They all can sing if they want to. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, oh, maybe one might, may not be into it as much as another, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> My daughter said, Yo, Daddy, I want to do merchandise. Merchandising? <laughs> what? Like, what you been paying attention to? I didn't tell you about merchandising. She was like six or when she said that. Okay, okay. Now, do you actually give them uh, the lessons and advice and, you know, I mean, how to maneuver within the industry and everything so they don't have the uh, same pitfalls as somebody? Uh, they're not that of age yet, but I, I do as much as I can. You know what I'm saying? Just... I'd be real with them, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. right. Do you bring them around other like artists and everything like that, or do other artists come well, My around? son's starting to, um, my eldest, shout out to Jordy, J. Lay Low. Um, yeah, he's starting to be able to um, move around. And uh, yeah, if he wants to, I plan to, you know, put him where he can see and learn um, what he might want to get into, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Or it's whatever he wants to do. I mean, what what type of father are you? Are you one that's like, you know, you gotta you gotta earn your your mm-hmm. stripes, or are you one that's like, look, I done did all this, so y'all don't have to worry about nothing. See, to me, I want to kind of create. I don't want to create an, another slave. You feel me? So I don't, mm. you know, putting them under a certain pressure. It's a different type of pressure mm. that I want to. That they're gonna be under anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to put them under any pressure, type, like except for what they have for them, what they made for themselves. And I'm like, if I, the reason why I look at it like that, if you just pile on certain things before a certain time, it's just gonna be like they're not gonna be as they're just gonna be the same program that we had mm-hmm. is what they're gonna do. And why, how do we? We're breaking generational curses is the key is what right, it is we're right. trying to do here so right. like why teach them in the same way you were taught you know what I mean give them the space to make mistakes and learn for themselves you know what I'm saying right 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 that's what type right. of, sort of uh, mm. parent I am was your parents instrumental in your upbringing yeah I know my parents um, well as far as 
in my upbringing, but as far as the business, not so much, you know. Mm. But yeah, my parents were there my whole life. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, thirteen, you got money coming in, or did you have those contracts that was like, you know, you really wasn't know. seeing no residuals? No, I was getting a little um, allowance and shit. Allowance. Yeah, I mean, of <laughs> course, I was under. I was underage, so up until eighteen, you know, they keep your money. Okay. Stacking. Okay. Mm. okay. You couldn't wait till you was eighteen and the, I couldn't blowing. wait. <laughs> I couldn't wait. Neither What's could, the first thing you did? Neither could you... everybody else. <laughs> everybody else couldn't wait neither. Right. <laughs> yeah. What was the first thing you I... did when you turned eighteen and you was like, Okay, I got my pockets right now, you know what I mean? I was I put some money into re the house um renovations. I got a car. Did a couple of things to try to save some money. Okay, so you invested wisely. You know what I mean, I mean for just... for eighteen year old, I could have done more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Me self looking back on self, uh, you know, I could have done more. But I was, you know, right, 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 you know. right, right, right. Yeah, nothing before it's done. <laughs> that's that's cool though, man, man. Uh, so how you been getting along with the rest of the crew, man? Uh, those are my brothers. I always love them. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know. I just want to punch niggas in the mouth sometimes, but like, <laughs> hey, that's what brothers do. Like, you know what I mean? Nah, nah I love my bros, though. What up, Chuck? What up, Dre? What up, Bri? Yeah, 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 man. Uh, but I'm, and I'm pretty sure you uh, 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 created an extended family beyond, Absolutely. you know, uh, your immediate family and everything like that. It's mm -hmm. being in the industry. Now, um, a lot of people from the outside looking in be like, you know, uh, we just have this perception of what's going on in the industry, man. So you being directly in the industry, do you think we got it right or got it right know, as far as the perception? Yeah, as far as the perception of what's going well, on. To me, industry. perception is reality, and uh, when someone perceives you away, you should either match it or change it, mm. depending on what it is you, you know, right, right, are desiring. You know, it's just called it's chess, not checkers. Right, right. You know right. What I mean? Well, is the industry more fake than real? Or can you find real people in the industry? I mean, does or is it uh, uh, a revolving door to where, you know, it is well, what it is? Well, business, business is business. So right, you right, can't right. kind of, you can't. Can't take it personal right. or anything like that. So, so I got it. That's an interesting question. Yeah, you're going to, I think it's all real. Mm -hmm. But I think, um, you know, you shouldn't be in it looking for a certain thing you know what i'm saying right. like it's the entertainment business so entertain mm -hmm. uh it sounds like everybody could get it like if you wanted to be an artist we shouldn't be worried about you know oh this this dude's gonna take all the shine mm. take all the you know i mean all the followers and everything there's enough out there for everybody to get it right uh i'd say but i mean i don't think that's the um that's not the essence of business so that's i don't think it'll ever be just uh, open mm. feel it's as open as it's gonna get right now with everybody being independent you know what I'm yeah, saying yeah. and that doesn't make you you know it's still not exempt you know what I'm saying you, you still gotta have the other ingredients to know what to do and what you know what I'm saying right right yeah so mm -hmm. yeah we have uh, a record label called ADE. I have uh, my own label called the uh, Best Entertainment Alive, BEA. And we signing on as we launching. Mm -hmm. It's about to go digital. Basically. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, um, um, so this is brand new. Um, I'm, I've, it's been established for a while. However, we're just moving on it because, um, you know, yeah. Yeah. We, we we got we have work to do. It takes time. You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. Is it, so you looking for all type of artists, or you just want um, specific artists? Um, just uh, my eyes open for real talent, just real talent. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And uh, mm -hmm. I think that's all I could go off of. Like it's no putting a specific thing on it when you when you got it, you got it type shit. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So how so how can people get in contact with you? Um, how are you scouting out for these people? What? How? Do, what, how are these people gonna? Um, you look for them, or um, they look for you? I well, I have um people who 
have an eye on the talent as well for me. However, but um, for the most part, um, it's a it's a pretty authentic um thing. There's no real platform designated that I'm designating to find the talent, which is actually a cool idea. You mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm. You know, we're gonna have to that set that up here <laughs> at Atlanta Unplug. Right. You know what I mean? Bring the talent in. He's gonna right. be the judge. He's gonna, you know. Right. <laughs> I hadn't really thought about it, but that's a cool idea, bro. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. So, what do you want the people to know? Uh, what, what? Uh, this is your time to get whatever you have on your chest, anything you have on your mind, on your heart, on your soul, to uh, speak to the people. And I just know. want y'all. I want them to know that I love them, and I want them to know I got this these new projects out. I don't want them to know where to go get it. I want them to go follow me at Jace For Real everywhere. Yeah. I want them to go click them buttons and enjoy the music. You know, Spotify, um, wherever it's to be found, YouTube, this, that, the other. Google Google it. You know, we here. You know, let's turn up and love again. You know, not just the song. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Turn up and love again. again. Mm-hmm. Man, that's the answer to everything if you think about it. You know what I mean? Say that. <laughs> Say that. You know, bring back that 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 real feeling again, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? The analog feeling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that warmth. <laughs> that warmth. You know? Right, right. We need to go back to cassette tapes, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> like, hold on, wait, you know, we, we can't go like, back that far, you know what I <laughs> mean? <laughs> Right, right, right. The uh, uh, man, it, it was just it was an honor to have you here and honor to, uh, mine, be able man. to interview Pleasure you. Pleasure is mine. Man, uh, it, it much, yes, thanks much for respect. Me. You know what I mean? And uh, no doubt. Thanks for being here. No doubt, y'all. We got to do it again. I'm gonna bring my artist through here. Mm. Yeah, he's gonna bring his artist through here. Y'all mm-hmm. tuning in. You know, tap back into this brother right here, man. He got a lot of good things coming up into the future bringing that love back uh if if y'all looking to get into the industry and everything you know you got to find real ones like this brother right here real recognized real ones real recognized real Mm. and that's it that's all this is atlanta unplugged atlanta unplugged and we're out